oh my, my God, you know, this, this was a day which is never to be forgotten. The feelings of modern happiness. It was a feeling of being delivered and being finally having lived to see the evil broken. And I, I cannot even call it happiness. It was much more than that. Soviet forces liberated parts of Europe as early as March 1944. Between January and April of 1945, Allied forces, led by the Americans in the West and South, continued the liberation as they pushed towards Germany. In May 1945, the Nazi state collapsed and unconditionally surrendered, and the remaining concentration camps were liberated. However, six million Jews and millions of others had perished by this point. Only a small number of concentration camp inmates survived to see the day of their liberation. Here are a few of their stories. I got a cold feeling in my back, which passed, but there was a kind of shudder, you know, and I presume, I presume now, it was like, so what now? I was working in the kitchen, that was my extra duty, and no SS women were around, and then I heard two tanks coming in and then one guy came out from the tank and he said please stay on your places the Red Cross will be here soon you are liberated by the Army of the United States of America then I started to cry and I ran 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 to my mother and my sister we were allowed to sleep in an old dirty barn by the mayor of the town the following morning, he opens up the door and uh, in an unusually civil expression, he addresses us. He says, Fräulein, this is in Fry, ladies, you are free. And we were greeted by a Jewish American chaplain who gave us little mezuzahs and then we felt liberated. Unnatural strength entered my body. Where before I couldn't walk, I suddenly start to run. And there, at the gate, I saw our liberators. They were like angels who came out of nowhere to give us life. And our guards, who were only a few minutes before our masters, now stood with fear in their eyes. When I went to the American zone, I right away signed up for kosher food. It was important to me because I was brought up like that. It wasn't easy to pick up the pieces because I went through a lot. And I come from a family of eight, my parents and five brothers. And unfortunately, I'm the only survivor. I guess Hashem wanted one little branch of that tree to survive and tell the story. We saw a man on a horse a Russian soldier coming towards us, he said he was a captain, that we are free. You cannot imagine the joy, you cannot imagine the exhilaration. I still see the, the, the picture in front of my eyes, women who could hardly walk, some were even crawling, pulled him down, they were kissing him, they were hugging him, and that day will always be in my mind, January 21st, 1945. We were finally free. If I had been in Theresienstadt for another few months, the chances were that I would not have survived. So they actually saved my life. So of course I am unbelievably grateful because they allowed me to have a family, they allowed me to have a life, they allowed me to participate, to contribute, to be a Jew again. <laughs> 